Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about buying a motorbike in Thailand. But not just buying a motorbike, buying a motorbike and sidecar, or samlors, they call it here in Thailand. The advantages and disadvantages and costs and insurance, and the special way that it's made here in Thailand. So, enjoy the little video to start off with. And then after the video, I'm going to go into more details about how it's made, the standards of it, whether you're insured or not, how much it costs to get insured, the testing of it. I'll go through details by details and the advantages of owning a sand lot like this. So enjoy the video. Catch you in a minute. Bye for now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and now I'm going to go into more detail about owning a motorbike and Samlor just like this. If you bought a brand new one, brand new Samlor, specially made, it's about 14,000 baht. And if you buy a brand new Honda Click automatic like the one that I've got on my Samlor, that the one that you've seen, now they're about 54,000. So rounded up to figures of about 70,000 baht if you bought one brand new. Now this one I bought second hand and for the motorbike and sidecar I paid 30,000 baht for it. Now the motorbike is 6 years old with 13,000 kilometres on it and the Samlor is only about a year old because the person I bought it off got it made a year ago and it's been on the motorbike for a year. Now it's in very good condition, it's been regularly serviced and inspected so I had no worries about buying it but again these things are bomb, bomb proof it's the number one design in Thailand everybody has a Samlor like this this particular shape and they're used for many 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 things and I'll put some um, photographs up as to the many uses of a motorbike and sidecar in fact my wife has just started a, a business selling clothes going to the markets and I'll do a video about that later on with regard to how much it costs her to set up everything to be able to sell clothes at the market including the market stall and one thing and another so anyway getting back to the motorbike sidecar um, the cost to insure this is the same as it is to insure just a normal motorbike and uh, now with the video that I did about budget travel in Thailand with regard to buying a motorbike it is 612 baht it cost me to insure and tax the motorbike and Samlor. Now when I bought it it was almost run, run out of tax and insurance so I had to go and get it tested. Now because the motorbike is over four years old every year it has to go and get tested and I'll put some pictures up and I'll describe the testing process. Now for some reason the, the Samlor has to be separated from the motorbike to go and get tested. Technically a motorbike and sidecar is illegal here in Thailand and supposedly if you have an accident with the Samlor on you're not insured but there are thousands and thousands of these all the way around the road. I think 
uh, although I'm not 100% sure, a bit of a blind eye is turned if you have an accident, one of these, they say that you had an accident on a motorbike, but don't quote me on that, but there's never been a proper answer for if you have an accident on a motorbike in Sam Law. So anyway, 612 baht to get this insured, so I had to go and take it for a test. Now I took the motorbike and sidecar along to the testing centre, you'll see on this picture this is where the testing centre is, and he refused to test it whilst it was still attached to the motorbike. So he pointed to a garage which was next door and I took it there and the two guys that were working on a car charged me 150 baht to take it off and the guy come and collected the motorbike, tested it and then put it back on, all for 150 baht. Now, you'll see a photograph of the guys testing it. The test involved a sound test to make sure that the exhaust wasn't too loud and an emissions test. Now by the time I got the camera out with my phone to take the picture of the test, it finished. That's how quick it was. So it took longer to take the motorbike and sidecar off, put it back on than it actually did for the test. But you have to do that every year after the motorbike's four years old because you have to have an emissions test and a sound test, decibel test, to check the sound of the exhaust. So once that's over, they posted the, the details to the land registry and the motorbike registry tax or what department or wherever it goes to and a week or so later gets the green book back with my insurance details and the tax certificate so that's it now for a year it's taxed and insured for a year for 612 baht so we drive around in it and i was actually more excited about getting this than my car I bought a brand new car but I was more excited about buying this once I discovered where I was going to buy it from because I used to have one years ago and I love driving around in this it's it's brilliant it really is fun to drive and it's so versatile if you did your shopping on the motorbike you've just got the little storage underneath the seat and a little well by your feet to put things but having a Samlo if you can't afford a car it's the next best thing and I say for 30,000 baht, it's as cheap as chips. You can go and do your shopping. It can do so, so many things. So, okay, we'll have a walk around the, the Samla now and I'll explain various bits and pieces around. And usually you get operated suspension and it's attached at three locations on the motorbike. So the first location is down by the main frame on the motorbike on the footwell where you put your feet as you can see by the photograph it's attached and welded to the frame and the second attachment is underneath the motorbike and again that is an attachment welded to the frame and then it's attached to the samlo by bolts and then the third attachment is on the back of the motorbike on the handle handrail and again that's attached by bolts so in effect there's three lots of bolts holding it on to your motorbike now when you get the motorbike and sidecar together it sort of gets balanced you give it to the shop and he balances it so so when you're riding it it's pretty stable so it usually takes about two weeks to get a samlaw made if you wanted to get a samlaw made but my advice was is to go and buy a second hand one. A second hand Samla you can pick up from maybe eight or ten thousand baht compared to fourteen thousand baht for a brand new one. So as you see by the operator suspension and the, the attachments there's nothing to it really. It drives like a dream and as I said we've used this many times. Take a picnic go down to the beach and you've got your seating area already here and as I said my wife set up a, a market stall business now a whole business sits in this area. So again, I'll do another video about that later on. So if you want to buy a motorbike and sidecar in Thailand, don't be afraid to buy, buy one. They are brilliant, superb. I can't recommend owning one of these enough. They are brilliant. And as if, you, if you're living here on a budget, you'll never regret buying one of these because it's so, so good. 
so if you've got any questions please email me on the links below or if you've got any comments leave them on it below if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down subscribing would be nice as I say I've got many more videos coming various bits and pieces about living in Thailand so from Les retired and living the dream in Thailand until the next video bye for now